Fleeing the heat of battle to the cold of an Afghanistan refugee camp, many of these people have been driven from their homes in the northern city of Kunduz. The Taliban are fighting to take control of the city. Security forces are trying to stop them. For two days, we were living in the middle of the fighting. Finally, the Taliban captured the police headquarters. Then, the government helicopters started shooting and the Taliban were firing from the ground. We had no choice but to leave our homes. We left everything behind. We just took our children and we came here. No one asks about us. There's no food and there's no water and it's cold at night. Supplies at this camp in Takar province are already being strained as thousands of people continue to arrive. Until now we have received 10,000 families, which means we have 50,000 people here. Among them are pregnant women and people who are injured. It is a humanitarian crisis. We are doing our best to help them, but we have little capacity. Afghan security forces pushed the Taliban out of Kunduz back in September 2015, after the fighters briefly captured the city. This latest Taliban attack began several days ago. Some of those now struggling to find shelter in the camps say the government should be doing more. Ask President Ashraf Ghani what's happening to us. We want security. See how we live here? Our children don't have clothes to wear, no food. Life is miserable. There is no one to help us. These people may have escaped the violence in Kunduz, but many are now facing an uncertain and chilly future in camps like this. Rob Matheson. Al Jazeera.